Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you the number one fundamental trick in skateboarding, the illustrious Ollie. First trick you need to know in your skateboarding career, if you're just a beginner, or you're, you know, you've been skating for a while but you're still having trouble with your Ollie's, I will teach you that today. Ollie's. Let me just get this right out the bat. It is a difficult, difficult trick. People still always say it's easy, it's easy. Um, to, to them maybe it is, to other people not. Um, to me, to this day, I'm still having trouble skating. I've been skating for probably nine plus years. And to this day, I still have trouble with my arms. Okay, so uh, let's uh, break it down. Foot placement. Everyone has a preference on their foot placement. I prefer to have it on fully on the tail. Some people like to have to where their toe is on the tail only. But uh, to me, I like the whole foot on the tail. I feel like I get a better pop. Um, see, so what you want to do is you want to, like I said, practice wise, like I said, I have to have my foot on the tail. You want to have your front foot in the center of the board. Some people like to have it behind the bolts. I like to, I prefer mine probably a quarter of the way behind the bolts and the middle. And you want to have your back foot on the tail. Now what you want to do is, you want to snap the tail, which is going to give you the whole motion series of Pop and bring your board up. And as you snap, you want to simultaneously take your front foot and have it in a rolling motion to the tip of the board, which will give you your, your motion of snap, pop, and drag so you can get the ollie in motion. Or you can do a stationary, you can get the pop and the flip, so which will bring your board to level out in the air. Now, the harder you snap your tail, the higher you will get your hours. But for beginners, I'd, I'd reference that you should uh, pop your tail or snap your tail lightly so you can just get the feel of doing the ollie. And when you feel more comfortable, you can get a better snap on the tail. Uh, so, like I said, when you snap, you want to simultaneously bring your foot in a long motion, which will lead your boy to rise up in the air and ollie out and level out. And when the board is leveled out, you just want to bring it down. So when you bring it up, so it's more of a snap, scoop, so your board can get up and when you feel comfortable, bring it down and ride away. Now the problem that some people have is sometimes their foot won't go in the wrong motion or their foot will just have to slide up. That's okay. What you could do is, you could just, you know, before you start for an ollie, you could just snap your tail down, but you could just stay there and just practice having your foot go in a roll in motion. So when you do that ollie itself, your foot will automatically know in the back of your mind or in front of your mind, just roll and it will lead you to do the ollie. Um, another, another thing is people aren't popping hard enough when they pop too hard. And their back foot just either dangles out somewhere or they don't catch it in time. Um, all easy mistakes to fix, just due time and everything. Uh, but what you can practice is just, you know, f flicking your tail and catching it. So you get the whole idea of how the board is supposed to come up in the air. And uh, I'll give you a couple of demonstrations of my always and take it from there. See how when I popped my tail, my foot was in the wrong motion, which led my boy to level out in the air. And as I felt leveled in the air, I just put my, my legs down and then just landed in all. That was a bad one, but I'll give you a better one. Those are a couple of my ollies, and uh, just like I said, it's a hard trick to learn. It takes time. 
You just gotta wink at it, don't get frustrated, don't get mad at the skateboard, don't get mad at yourself, but there's always a trick to learn, you will get it in time. It's just a matter of practicing, 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 repetition, repetition, um, and just timing, timing, timing. Timing, timing, timing is key when it comes to doing any kind of chicken skateboarding and mostly ollie because you want to time your board because if you have an ollie where you don't time in time, you could basically just have a board that just goes like, you know, I, I, that, I, you can call that an ollie, but it's more of an ollie if you're trying to go up a curb or something that's not really considered an ollie, what you want. You want to time it right to where your foot is leveled out at the peak of your nose, and you bring it down. And uh, that's it guys, and uh, you have yourself a good day, and just go outside and practice, and just have fun skating. Later guys.